river run. Oh, oh, river, oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. Again. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very easy DIY face mask. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I'm a DIY face and hair mask junkie and I really love those natural masks all right so now I'm super prepared to make whatever mask first I already have the egg yolk here and I'm gonna add to it olive oil so ooh, that's supposed to be one tablespoon but it's fine that's olive oil it's good for everything and natural yogurt which I love to put in face masks and hair masks because there is so much protein in it and it's it's so good for the skin like I already have some tutorials on Instagram so make sure you follow me so you can see my videos mix that amazing looking mixture you can use this mask for your hair as well so if you have something left which you probably will have just put it on your hair and leave it for like an hour and it works perfect so while I'm putting this on my face I'm going to tell you more about the benefits of this mask so guys this mask is great for people with dry skin like I have a very dry skin and I really love this mask because it actually moisturizes it and make it glowing like so fast and so easy. So the egg yolk contains vitamin A, vitamin B2, vitamin B3 which helps to protect cells from free radicals and treats inflammatory skin conditions. It also hydrates skin very very nice. The yogurt contains life cultures it has antibiotic properties that aid in eliminating acne causing bacteria and it actually helps to clean the skin and the olive oil of course is so good it locks moisture into skin cells and moisturizes dehydrated skin so like yeah olive oil is one of my best products for DIY masks making this mask twice a week I would say you won't need to use any makeup especially um, highlighter because like this mask can give you a natural highlighting which all of us want I mean girls just admit it you don't like to put everyday makeup you just do it because everyone does it uh, uh, I have egg all over my head I'm doing pretty well and make sure that you put some under your eyes as well the yogurt helps with brightening the skin and nobody wants dark circles before you start making any masks make sure that your face is absolutely clean like cleanse it before that because you first of all you need to open your pores that's why it's good to steam it and I, what I usually do is just put boiling water in the saucepan and, and just put my face like next to it so all of the steam can go on your face and it actually opens the pores and after that when you're using all of that natural ingredients that you want actually to be absorbed by your skin can really be absorbed because your pores are open and everything happens through them I actually have a lot of left so I'll, I'll probably use it for my hair but make sure that you don't leave that mixture longer than three days because it will expire and if you can eat it you can put it on your face you need to leave this for 20 minutes and after that just wash it with loop water and basically that's it it's very easy one so you can make it just with the stuff you find in your fridge and in your cupboard and also something very important which I'm going to remind you every single time drink water stay hydrated because 
no matter what mask you use, if you don't drink enough water, your skin can't look perfect. That's it. End of the story. Come on, don't don't look at me. Just grab your glass and drink some water. It's good for you. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! So guys, I just washed my face. I'll take this off. Ugh. I'm going to use that Hydra Genius by L'Oreal to moisturize my skin just to set it up after the mask like that just to give some extra glow because I'm always extra with the skincare like that Ooh. and don't forget the neck okay so yeah basically that's me and this is one of my ideas for glowing skin i hope you like this one if you liked it give your thumbs up subscribe for my channel follow me on instagram because i post tutorials there as well and thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video